Hello everyone, Dustin here with another Healthy Helpings video. This recipe is super easy. You're going to blink and the video is going to be over. That's how super easy and uh, tasty and just simple this recipe is. So um, it's an uh, apple bites and all it is is just three ingredients. You have an apple, which if you saw my last video, this apple is just left over from that video. I looked at it and I was like, I need to use this. So here I am. I also have some cream cheese that's just been sitting out for a couple minutes for it to be softened. And then I also have some granola as well. You can also add cinnamon to this dish. You can add honey as well. But today I'm gonna keep it simple and just add these three ingredients. So the first thing I did was just put some granola in a bag and then I just tossed it up. Um, and uh, but before I do anything else, I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay, now that we've got our hands washed, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. Like I said, I put some um, granola in a Ziploc bag and then I just kind of crunch, uh, crunched it up. This is a super easy recipe and just something that you can get your kids involved with as well. Throw some granola in there, give them the bag over the table because we definitely don't want messes and then um, just have them just crunch it up. So I'm gonna put that to the side and then I'm going to go ahead and just start dicing my apple. So like I have done before in the videos, do it this way and then you can start chopping this way. You can also cut it in half again if you wish. You want to just make sure that your knuckles are against the blade of the knife so you don't get cut and then you're just going to chop into slices like so. And depending upon how you want your slices, you can do them big, you can do them really thin. It's really up to you, but they kind of are going to look like this and I chose a green apple because I personally like green apple they're really sour um, I really enjoy those apples but you can also do a red or any other kind of apple that you wish so the next thing I'm going to do is just take my granola I'm going to put it in this bowl right here with my cream cheese um, I chose the one-third uh, less fat cream cheese because one I had that in my fridge already from other recipes that I did um, and because I just want to reduce the fat that I'm consuming in my diet. Um, so I chose the one third less fat. And you can find that in mostly all of your grocery stores as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab my spoon because I again forgot it. And then I will um, start just mixing the cream cheese and the granola together. Okay, so now that I've gotten my spoon, I'm just going to mix up the granola and the cream cheese like so. And this is just a super easy dish, like I was saying. Um, your kids can help you with it as well. If you have play dates, uh, just something you can make with like five minutes, um, probably less than that, and it will satisfy the kids because it's really yummy. Um, you can do any kind of cereal if you like. If you don't have granola at home, you can do Cheerios, you can do Frosted Flakes. Um, just make sure that you wanna look for something that is lower in sugar because kids already have enough energy, right? And we don't need to give them anything else. And then also the apple also has some natural sugar in there as well. So that is just mixed like so. And then you can keep it in the bowl. You can serve it in there. Nobody likes extra dishes. And then literally all they're going to do is just dip their apple into the bowl. And there you have it. Super easy. And the kids will really, really enjoy that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that was super simple, um, something you can do in your uh, daily lives. All the all these ingredients I've had already because I did, I filmed the past video or I made them in other dishes. So I really just looked at my cabinet this week and said, hmm, what can I pull together with the ingredients that I already have? And voila. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please stay tuned for some more videos from my colleagues coming up and I will see you soon. Thank you.